Welcome to Automate. Automate is North America's largest showcase of automation technology, which is this year located here in Chicago. This floor alone behind me features over 800 exhibitors, so it's pretty easy to get lost. Neff Automation doesn't have a booth here, but over 20 of our top manufacturing partners do. Today, we're gonna to take a little tour around and show you what's up. Let's check it out. All right, so sharing the booth with Mir is Universal Robots, one of the original inventors and the guys who dominate uh, this collaborative robot space. So let's spend a couple of minutes talking to some UR guys here. We've got a lot of new products here. So we've got the UR20 on the right-hand side, and uh, we'll show you that in just a second. We've got a UR30 here. So we now have 20 and 30 kilo uh, payload ranges. That's bringing a lot of excitement. There's been a lot of times that people come to us and they've, they've wanted those payload ranges. They, you know, they now have it available. UR20 can do, uh, you know, can do everything the UR10E did, but a little bit better, right? Longer reach, uh, it allows us to palletize some heavier boxes in the 20 kilo range, so that's pretty awesome. Honestly, this UR30, it makes you insecure. It makes you wanna work out, right? I mean, it's a beefy robot, and uh, this isn't actually showing off that we need payload. It's actually showing off that we need the sturdiness, right? The robustness of a 30 kilo robot in order to perform either a drilling operation or a tapping operation. Or in here, in you know, this case, we're actually running a nut, and that uh, that actually works out really well to have a higher payload robot. I am in the Universal Robots booth today with the PE20 palletizer. Robotik has launched uh, the palletizer along with the UR20 and UR30 models, and the capabilities to be able to manage up to 60 pound cases now has really been a game changer. Also, picking up multiple cases at a time. Uh, in this demo specifically, we are depalletizing and then repalletizing on the other side being able to show both our capabilities to do depalletizing and palletizing. All right, now we're at PhD. They're showcasing a huge booth this year at Automate with all different types of pneumatic and electric actuators. Definitely worth a look as you're walking around. Uh, we have our new AS80 conveyor. This is the biggest, strongest, widest conveyor that we've ever made. Goes up to 40 feet long, 36 inches wide, moves loads up to 600 pounds really a beast of a conveyor, really gets us into some really cool heavy duty applications that we've never touched before. And then we're also excited to introduce our uh, Best Connect MDR conveyor. Uh, this is actually a product from our sister company, FMH Conveyors, but it gets us into a lot of those end of line applications, uh, palletizing and things like that, that we really weren't able to tackle before. This is our FlexTrack series conveyor. So it's basically a, a big erector set. So everything comes in components. We've got straights, we've got turns, We've got vertical bends. It's a really great product that tackles a ton of different applications. Loitza is a premier optical sensor supplier for safety and presence detection needs. We're going to see here our economic light curtains and on the back side our RSL safety area scanner. As we walk through the booth you're going to see a couple standard presence detection and even more advanced positioning systems. I'd like to also talk about some of our IOLINK products here. We get into the more digitally diverse, if you will, and even higher tech, more precise, more robust, absolute measurement sensor. All right, next up here we have 8020, T-slot aluminum extrusion. A couple cool new things to check out from here. They've got a new lift on some of their workstations, and we have some robotic carts. All right, let's see what's next. This is a really cool demo that I want to talk about. This is a, just a traditional SCARA here. So this is actually taking a picture while the robot is moving. So traditionally you take a picture of something and you have to stop in front of a camera to figure out like where it is and orient it. It's doing that, it's, it's flying over the camera. So it's called like fly over the camera here. And we have three different cameras that are tied into the Ivy system. And the neat thing is we've partnered with ASRAEL. And so there's a nice little ASCII cube 240 here. And so those are two really nice upgrades to do vision picking and placing that's fast. on that. So yeah, very cool, huh? I don't care who you are, that's cool. Welcome to the Phoenix Contact booth at Automate 2024. Coming on through, we have everything PLC Next that you would need. So data-driven sustainability through PLC Next and our energy monitoring devices. Putting data to sustainable measurements is more important than ever. Sustainability has gone beyond a buzzword. It's gone beyond just something that is done in a balance sheet at the end of each year. You actually are taking data creating a baseline, and then showing analytics towards those different capabilities or different, different measures to show uh, your operational improvements over time. So not only are you being more sustainable, but you're actually improving the bottom line over the time. And to do this, we have all different types of products that you see here in the booth today, from PLC Next to safety control systems to the new SPE and APL technologies here at Phoenix Contact.
Over here, one of our Nest supported partners, AMT, has a really, really cool solution for anybody that's looking at drilling, routing, fabrication work, grinding, deburring, polishing, you name it. It's precise, it's cost effective, it's a small footprint, generally utilizes our R-Series robots, great value in a small package that suits a lot of end users. Our partners at CRG Automation are doing some rainbow depalletizing. Depalletizing is getting to be more and more of an issue and solutions are here. This particular cell is showcasing our line of K positioners. One of my favorite things about this particular lineup is how they're modular. These are manufactured and designed in a way that is cost effective for us to make them larger, smaller, and add on so that we can create different combinations of positioners without breaking the bank. Here we're showing an anomaly detection demo. We've got a camera set up here with a dome light. You can see how fast these parts are moving. What this, our software is, is doing is actually taking a picture of the, uh, of the component. It's comparing it to a golden image or a good image. And any anomalies of the parts that are being expected will show up in a heat map, as you can see here. It's either a pass or a fail. We just launched these cameras on Monday, so they're, they're new to our portfolio. It expands our 3D sensor portfolio. And this is doing a vision inspection on, uh, well, assemblies, the bead assembly, and picking up either pass or fail. And you can see there's either missing beads or there's a bead that's too low or a bead that's too high and it's calling that out into the, in the part of the inspection. This is our, our scan tunnel. So you've got logistics applications, packages flying down a conveyor, right? It's scanning the barcodes on them. We've got a bank of FS40s here. They're all working together, taking images of the barcodes, stitching it together. And you've also got another 3D sensor up above that's doing the dimensioning. This is our uh, demo that shows condition monitoring solution in action. I can see the alerts coming on uh, based on the vibration pattern notice. So there is a condition monitoring sensor located on that motor, which is detecting the vibration pattern differences or changes. And that's recording that information to show what the uh, condition monitoring toolkit is noticing. And that about wraps it up. Thanks for walking Automate with us. Come by yourself, check it out. If not for the technology, do it for the free candy.